to the Paul Cruz sales agency where sales do happen. Are you a sales person? And what is sales? It all interacts with each other. I'm going to explain it to you. But I really want you to think about this. What is sales? And are you a salesperson? After this, you're going to have a clearer understanding of what they both mean and what you have to do about it. Now, before we dig into the topic, whatever platform you're watching this video, do me a favor. Smash the like button and share your comments, whether you agree or disagree with what I'm about to share with you. I want to hear and see your feedback. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, hit the subscription button below. Now, let's dig into this, okay? For me, I'm about fundamentals, basics, and simplicity. Why? So that way I can build a strong foundation. You see, the words we use have an effect on how people respond to you. Good or bad. The words you use have that effect. Here's the problem that I noticed. People like to use words and most of the times they don't even know what it means. I think it's a shame. I don't like to use words. I don't have an understanding of what it really means. I, I won't do that. There's things in the, in the social media industry, you know, scaling up, scaling down. It sounds good. People get enticed about that. But I bet you a majority of the people don't even know what it means, yet they use the word because it sounds good or someone else says it is. For example, in business, there's a saying. It's all about the number. So people start to use it. But it's not about the numbers. It's about the right numbers. My numbers are different than you than your numbers. More doesn't mean better, right? So what is sales? Sales is an effect or result of an action or a cause. I'm trying to keep it simple. So think about it. <coughs> Everything we do in life, there's a cause and effect. See, people focus too much on the sale. And so they create a lot of gimmicks to produce more sale. They try a lot of trickery out there to get people to buy programs and softwares and funnel to produce more sales. But technology is always changing every six months. So the sales is every business owner every entrepreneur destination we all want to produce more sales right but there's something we must do we must do the selling which is the cause which is the action and there's many ways to do the selling via video podcast content However you want to do mass advertising, marketing, I like to do personal selling. But the thing is, <clears throat> we have to understand that selling is the process to the sale. But people use the word sales process. I like to name it and call it what it is. It's the selling process because the sales don't happen unless you do the selling, right? So that's what sales is, just to keep it simple, right? Right? Now, do you believe that you are a salesperson? And if you don't believe you're a salesperson, why do you believe you're not? Think about it. Some people don't like salespeople. Some people don't like to be sold. Yet, we're all buying every day and we're being sold in one form or another. 
Whether you accept that or not, that's on you. I've accepted it. Those are the facts. It's something no one can deny unless they're in denial themselves. So, are you a salesperson or not? Let me ask you this. Do you have business relationships? Do you have personal relationships? Do you have associates that you deal with? Do you have family members you deal with? There's a follow-up question. Do you communicate with your relationship, whether it's business or personal? Think about it. There's only one answer to that question, and that's a yes. Am I communicating with you right now? Yes. Do I have a relationship with my audience? Yes. Right? So, if you're communicating with people and you have relationships, you are a salesperson, period. And if you understand what a salesperson is, is they really are powerful storytellers. They're great communicators. They're dynamic salespeople. They have profitable relationships. They know how to solve problems. Financial and others. Other problems, meaning. And the top successful people in the world are very dynamic salespeople. They're master communicators. So you are a salesperson. Whether you want to accept it or not, it's up to you. And if you accept it, why not become really dynamic as a salesperson? It's the most phenomenal thing we can ever become. It's the most phenomenal profession in the world. Why? Because we communicate with people every single day. We have relationships in one form or another every single day. Just think about it. When you watch movies, you're communicating. They're communicating with you. When you listen to a podcast, it's the same thing. When you listen to music, it's the same thing. Because that's how society is. We're always selling. We're always communicating. Not always the right way, but we are. And here's We're always buying and selling. Whether you like to be sold or not, you're being sold. It depends who you want to buy from or how you want to buy. You're going to be sold. Because when you make a purchase, something sold you to go purchase that. Whether it was an advertisement, an audio that you listened to, someone recommending it to you, or someone calling you and selling you, you're being sold every day. I'm being sold every day. I just know that I am, but either I choose to buy or not. Does that make sense? So that's what a salesperson really is. I'm trying to keep it simple. And a salesperson is basically a communicator and a relationship builder. Because that's how we grow our business. You see, People talk about it's all about the money and it's all about this. Money comes from profitable relationships. And if you have something of value, how are people going to know unless you're communicating it, right? How do you communicate it? You could do visual like I'm doing. You could do audio. You could do content and writing in a podcast. But you have to tell a convincing story because people like to hear 
phenomenal stories. That's why we're easily manipulated. <laughs> it's a fact. Because we want to feel. We want to be in relationships. We want to feel wanted. And needed. Right? That's just the way the mind is. That's just human nature. I've been in sales for over 30 years. I've been very blessed to talk with many successful business owners at every level. It's where I got my education is where I got this understanding today. And I always try to communicate with my prospects, with the people I want to build a relationship with, how simple I do things. And when I prospect with people, and I do videos on them, is I'm not only selling, but I'm coaching and training at the same time. Because I'm trying to communicate with them what I'm all about. What value they're going to get if they decide to have a relationship with me. I need to know what kind of relationship I'm going to have with them by asking them questions about their business and their problems. But I'm selling. I'm selling solutions. I'm selling value. I'm selling me. I'm selling relationships. I'm selling profits. I'm a salesperson. I'm a communicator. I'm a storyteller, but I'm really good at it, and I produce results for my clients. Nature. So if you don't think you're a salesperson, then you don't understand what it really means. You're just using a word that you don't know, or you're dismissing a word about what you really are. Does that make sense? And what is sales? Sales is an effect, right? The result of an action. Well, what is that? That means relationships. Two people decided to do business or a group of people decided to do business or a company decided to do business. Either way, you it's a relationship. You have to communicate your service, your product to the prospect that is valuable to them so that they can benefit from it, so that you can have a relationship. Just think about it. Am I wrong? Share your comments below. Let me know whether you agree or disagree. Let me know your comments or share your comments with me. I'm really interested in hearing your view. But that's what sales is. That's what a salesperson is, in my humble opinion. I've been in sales for over 30 years. I've been very blessed to talk with many successful business owners at every level. It's where I got my education, is where I got this understanding today. And I always try to communicate with my prospects, with the people I want to build relationships with, how simple I do things. And when I prospect with people, and I do videos on them, is I'm not only selling, but I'm coaching and training at the same time. Because I'm trying to communicate with them what I'm all about. What value they're going to get if they decide to have a relationship with me. I need to know what kind of relationship I'm going to have with them by asking them questions about their business and their problems. But I'm selling. I'm selling solutions. I'm selling value. I'm selling me. I'm selling relationships. I'm selling profits. I'm a salesperson. I'm a communicator. I'm a storyteller, but I'm really good at it. And I produce results for my clients. Just think about it, guys. You know, again, whatever platform. 
Just think about it, guys. You know, again, whatever platform you're watching this video, because I'm going to be posting it on every platform. If you like this video, do me a favor, smash the like button. If it makes sense to you and you think it can help others and it got you thinking, share it with others. I would appreciate that. And if you're watching me on my YouTube channel, you know what to do. Just hit the subscription button below. Share your comments. Smash that like button. And also share this video with others in your YouTube channel. Does that make sense? So for me, you know, I'm all about the basics. You know, I like to use words that I understand that have meaning, that have value. I don't like to just use words. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Because it sounds good or everybody's using it. I don't follow the trend. I get to understand the trend and then I think outside of that trend and create my own path. That's what makes me unique. That's what makes me authentic. That's what makes me genuine. And I don't need to use big $10 words that don't mean crap. I like to use simple words that have more meaning, that have more power, that have more effect on my relationships. Does that make sense? Anyway, guys, I thank all of you who are watching this video, whatever platform you're watching it on. I appreciate you sharing your time and listening to my content. And I really do hope that this content has got you thinking and asking yourself questions. And then more importantly, accepting that you are a salesperson and do something about it and become more powerful, more effective, more successful in your business and in your personal life. That's what it's all about for me. Does that make sense? And if you accept that and you make the change, watch your business explode. Watch your sales grow exponentially. Watch you develop and build the most profitable relationship you could ever imagine. And then most importantly, watch you have a better personal life with your close friends and your family because that is the most important thing. Does that make sense? Anyway, guys, thank you for your time. Thank you for being part of the Paul Cruz Sales Agency, where sales do happen.